YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy, Buddha, back in the building for the first day of the Full Metal Alchemist collab in Las Claudia. And you can see that I am in the shop, the crystal shop, where I did pick up the large pack that they're offering. Uh, thanks to you guys and your crazy donations yesterday. I was talking about in the live stream how I didn't think I'd be able to do uh, really any summons, maybe a tiny little bitty summon video today. And, you know, I had some of you guys from the Buddha gang. Shout out to Oni Octo. Shout out to Kalfa Knight. Shout out to, oh my gosh, Chuck Dojo Blade. Enrico from the Philippines. And I'm sure there may be a couple others that I'm forgetting, but thank you all so much. You guys are the sponsors of today's summons, and oh man, I am nervous and excited, and I don't want to get my hopes up too much because I have seen the community uh, underwhelmed, I have seen them hopeful, and I've kind of been sliding in between the opinions, uh, but I really think that Edward right here is something special. Uh, that's just my uh, the, a feeling, a gut feeling that I have due to his alchemy skill that allows him to spam his skill stock with zero skill stock just by using MP. Again, we're going to have to see what it looks like in game. I'm super excited to talk with the boys tonight in the LC Pro podcast. So make sure you join the Discord or go follow uh, the Crypt Man over on Twitch to catch that live at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific. So we'll be talking about their findings because you know they scooped them up. They're testing them. They've been testing them since everything dropped early this morning. But your boy Buddha is a little bit turtle paced and I'll take it at my own speed. So we are here a little later in the morning to try our luck in these summons and you can see the step up banner. Uh, in total, not only do I have the uh, summons sponsored by you guys for today's video, but I do have some stones paid left over from the last summon live stream that we did where y'all went even crazier. And we have a total of just over 12,000, uh, close to 13,000 paid crystals that we're going to blow through. Uh, I imagine I'm probably going to send it all on this step up banner. Uh, you know, it's actually, if we busted out the wallet, we could be getting this guy for free, but, uh, you know, your boy Buddha, I am a budget slash free to play player at heart. So that's how I'm going to approach the summons. Like I've said in the past, if you guys are sponsoring me to do summons, I am plenty happy to make a video and, uh, you know, enjoy the gotcha together. Uh, but when it comes to the free-to-play crystals, which we probably have just over a bit, uh, you know, 12,000 of them, uh, I may spend the free crystals that come when you purchase those in a pack as well. But the crystals that I have grinded that represent my free-to-play stock, I want to be smart with them. For any of those who are free-to-play or budget, I would say don't go crazy summoning today. We don't know what Edward is truly capable of. Uh, he, there may be a better option coming with Roy Mustang to uh, drop your crystals there. Or at the end of the day, after everything is looked at, we might say, you know, it's probably in your best interest to keep going after Luxeus. Like I said, that all comes with information that they will give us. Idis will give that to us over time. And so that's kind of the advice I'm going to take. Not only that, but they're also giving us mad tickets. And sadly, the tickets, uh, they don't offer the new stuff on rate up, if I can find it. If you look at the probability, you can still see Edward uh, has just as much of a chance to be pulled as Goroth under him, a 0 .09, so versus the rate up of 0.8. So your chances are significantly lower here, but it's possible. And if you go and blow all your crystals and pull him on your last multi summon, you're like, yes, I got him, and then spend a ticket and get him it's not going to feel good. So I would play off of that possibility, use your tickets, and then if you find out he is so crazy busted after a couple days of people testing him out, then I'd say move to those 
premium currencies. Just wanted to get that disclaimer out of the way for those wondering, should I summon? I know a ton of people have probably already blown through their reserve because the hype is just too real and I understand, I get it. Uh, but I still want to put out that two cents just for anyone who is being patient and looking for some guidance on how they should approach these summons. With all that out of the way, guys, I can't avoid it any longer. <laughs> I, always with these pre-recorded summon videos, I like to eat up the time just because the nerves are going, the blood is flowing, and the inevitable is upon us. Either we're going to get lucky or we are not. We've got Goku in the background, hopefully absorbing some luck from you guys that I know you y'all are wishing me. Y'all are giving me your best wishes, but um, we're about to find out how RNG uh, decides our fate. So here we go. I'm picking up the phone and we're going to get started on this. So 12,000 crystals we have for paid. We'll see how it goes. Boom, there's number one of the first step up. Uh, this first step up, I believe, only amounts to about, what, uh, 11 total pulls. So, it all depends. I don't expect really anything. I don't expect really anything from these first three step ups. Uh, just because that limited number is brutal. Uh, so, there we go. We got two R's to start off the summons. Nothing too, too crazy. Fine by me. I'm not too worried about that. We're moving on to the step two, which is a total of three pulls. And finally, after that, it is six. So like I said, 11 pulls in this first step total. We've got Tyria here. Can we at least get an SSR? We, we're, we're popping on an SR. So the potential to go up to an SSR is there. We're getting a couple flashbacks, which uh, means nothing. Means absolutely nothing. We're staying at the SR. We've seen this so many times before. Your boy's not too, too butthurt by this, right? At this point, an SSR coming and then being a duplicate is the real pain that us mid to late game players feel way too often. <laughs> so here we go. Here is the last step up. And then actually it's going to put us really close to 12,000, which is going to give us four multis, four 10 spins after this. So quite, an, quite, quite a nice satisfying situation for my OCD. Uh, I'm not feeling anything off of this, so we're gonna go ahead and skip uh, just to save some time for us. And like we said, or like I said, wasn't expecting too much from those first 11. But now we're gonna get through four of these bad boys, four of these step ups, 40 pulls, and we're gonna get a ton of credentials, which is not common for your boy. Whew. Because usually I don't have paid crystals ready like this. Y'all just, we're getting to that point. Y'all are sponsoring Buddha's account. So here we go. I am freaking scared. We're going to go with the left hand just to switch it up. And we're doing our first 10 spin right here. Guys, if we could walk away with that LR arc, that's it. That, that will be... That's my prize, right? Everyone's going to be different with what they're excited to get. Uh, getting Edward. We're going up to the SSR. Getting Edward Elric is going to be hype for a lot of people. For me, that LR arc is what is truly special. And we didn't get it. We got a duplicate of Blaze Garden. Ton of Crimson Ore, some credentials, and some medals. So nothing crazy. <laughs> And the anxiousness is setting in because you try not to expect anything, but like I've been here before with the DMC collab where every summon was just so painful. <laughs> and of course it was on a collab. Like we don't know when we're ever going to see a DMC rerun if that ever happens. But let's not think about that. Let's switch it up. Go with the curse mark. Try to activate it. And we are already down half of our paid crystals. They go so quick, guys. There's Tyria. So she is a little bit of hope. Only two, right? Zekus and Tyria running with us. Only two of the squad. No Lilibet in there. We got an SR. It does go up to an SSR, so there is hope. 
We've got one towards the end. And it is a duplicate of that one. Of that arc. Of the God Slayer arc. <sighs> Oh, nice to see you again. Thank you for some Arc Ether 5%. The latest version is being delivered. All right. Let's take a second to appreciate the amazing artwork that we always get when they do these uh, collabs, the startup screen. Always looking so nice. Back in the mix here, we've got two more summons that we can do. First two have given us SSRs, but to no avail, neither of the new things that we can see in front of us. Like I said, y'all know what my main prize is, but honestly, I'll take either or at this point, just to, just to get something. And here we go. We've also got tickets, right? We can't give up hope just because we don't get what we want. And we're sending it. We've got this and the final. After. I'm like avoiding eye contact with the screen. We got the homie Zekis right there. We're starting at an SR orb. And we've got the star crossed lovers in the building. I'm going to tap the screen. I have gotten lucky with this setup in the past. We're going up to the SSR. Let's see. What happens this time? Only one SSR here. It's a duplicate of Sandworm. Mm. See, this is pain. This is true pain, everybody. Like I said, and we're already here at the final paid step up summon. Goodness gracious. It is a difficult thing, is it not? It is a difficult thing for your boy Buddha. <laughs> Can we get hashtag miracles happen on the final pull? We're going with the left hand. I'm bringing it back to the roots and sending it on the final 10 spin that we have. Sponsored by the Buddha Gang, we have Lilibet starting at an R orb. Hmm. Tap, 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 tap. Here we go. We got one flashback. It goes to an SR. And it does go up to an SSR. What do you got for us? We got one SSR right there. Is it anything? It's not. It's another duplicate arc of killing machines. <sighs> oh, the sweet taste of a shaft. <laughs> <laughs> I can't deny it. Doesn't feel good. We've we've had our fair share of luck in the past. Here's what I think we'll do. We'll do two more multis right here. Just to get to that even 50,000. A little bit over 260, but we're not counting that. We've got two multi summons. That'll, that'll take care of the free crystals that come in those purchased bundles, I think. I think it's only right to continue... Summoning with those crystals since they were acquired by y'all sponsorship So here we go. We're going with the curse mark. The left hand ain't doing it today. The curse mark. I Can feel the power boom, baby. I sent it Free crystals Can it do the job? I don't know. I'm scared. We got Tyria. We're breaking on an SR we got the whole squad with us. We got the whole squad with us. Tap the screen. Laugmechia jumps up to the SSR. No cutscenes. We've got two SSRs, baby. It is new. Show me, Edward. Yes! baby that's what we like and we've got another one right after another new I'll take it <laughs> I was like it's new but it's not changing to green 
I got a little too cocky right there. We got Megalodon as a nice little bonus SSR. But we got the homie Edward Elric. He is so clean looking, y'all. He is so clean looking. Oh, the second five star potential new character that they've introduced in the game. We got him. I mean, we'll take it. We will take that. I gotta do the last summon, just because I said I would. At this point, it's tough because, right, that arc, man, that dang arc. But I gotta practice what I preach. We're gonna do this last summon, see what happens. And after that, we rely on tickets. And until we get some information on part two and Roy coming out and even maybe the new unit that's coming uh, on the 29th. Don't forget that we have our summer themed unit coming who I just tends to uh, make pretty busted in the past. Well, I can't say all that. Swimsuit Tinkly is just still crazy to this day and she's getting a buff and she was, uh, you know, one of those summer featured units. So there's still a lot of information we don't have yet to make decisions. So hold off. I'm gonna do this last one. And then we're going to cash out. One more curse mark summon to end the video. Send it, baby. Puts us at that 50k mark, which I'm fine with. We've got Zekis chilling. We're breaking on an SR. And it's just the boys in the building for this summon. It's just the boys in the building for this summon. We've got one flashback. We're going up to an SSR. No cutscene. What do you got for us? It's right there. It's a duplicate of pirate ship Legnus. Okay. Okay. All good. Like I said, that's what we got. We got an SSR every single multi-spin, so that was pretty lucky. But the prize of this video, y'all, we got him. Dang, he did, he looks he looks clean, man. That artwork looks clean, bro. <sighs> So there it is. Uh, you can see I do have 30 souls for him already. Don't forget to go to the shop and pick up the free pack right there. Gives you 30 of his souls and just a little bit of materials for upgrading your units. But there we go. We've got some work to put in, boys and girls. We've got some work to put in. Clean ass artwork. And I'm very excited to see what he's capable of. All we can do is send up a prayer that the Ark will come home. But it's all subject to luck, right? I can't be bad, though, because look at this beast of a unit right here. Gives us something to work on during this collab. Gives us a little project, and I'm all here for it. So, guys, tell me if you did summons, how did it go? Are you being patient? I think it's definitely in your best interest if you are trying to be free to play or budget friendly to just hold out a little patience. I know it's so difficult when you're watching everyone post pictures on Reddit and Discord and post videos about pulling the new unit, especially if you love Full Metal Alchemist, which I do. So this is such a W of a collab. It's so difficult. The temptation is there, but I promise you if you can resist that temptation, you will be rewarded in some way. So with that being said, guys, like and subscribe. Turn on the bell notifications for any updated videos I put out. I'm going to be checking out the uh, event, seeing how it works, anything that I find to be efficient, posting up some videos about it. So make sure to, uh, like I said, turn on that bell notification to get real time info for when I post. And that's all I got for you. Y'all know what we say. Work hard, play harder. See you in the next video.